guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to get back into doing my releases videos. So I apologize for your TBR piles. I already said sorry to mine. Without further ado, these are all of the books that are coming out in February that I'm really excited about. So as always, I'm going to start with sequels so that I don't have to give like a synopsis with spoilers or anything. So I'm just gonna go through the sequels that are coming out in February really briefly, then get into the five that I am the most excited about in the upcoming month. So on February 27th, we have Daughter of the Siren Queen coming out by Trisha Levenseller, which is the sequel to Daughter of the Pirate King, which came out this past year, which I have, still haven't read, story of my life. February 27th this will be out though. On February 6th we have A Mortal Rain by Morgan Rhodes, and I believe this is the final book in the Fallen Kingdom series, correct me if I'm wrong, I heard rumors, I still haven't read the Fallen Kingdom series, but I think this is the last one, which is good news for me because that means I can start reading it without having to wait. On February 20th, we have Blood of a Thousand Stars by Rhoda Beleza. This is a sequel to Empress of a Thousand Skies, which still haven't read. I'm 0 for 3 right now with keeping up with the current reads, but the covers of the series are beautiful. I love them so much. And not a direct sequel, but on February 13th, we have Sight Witch coming out by Susan Dennard. This is kind of like a 0.5 novel, so it's like a not a prequel, but kind of a backstory of a side character. So those are all of the notable sequels that are coming out in February. Let's move on to the five. They're not necessarily the biggest releases, but they're the five that I personally am most excited about that I just really want to talk about. So first, on February 6th, we have The Bells by Daniel Clayton coming out. So this is set in a world where beauty is like a prize. There are these women who are very, very beautiful called The Bells, and in this world everybody is born gray and kind of insignificant and it's up to the bells to transform these people to be beautiful. That sounds a little dark and morbid in my opinion, but whatever floats your boat. But our main character is called Camellia and she is determined to be the favorite bell. She wants to be the best of the best. When she goes to like the royal palace to try and present herself to be this favorite bell, she kind of realized what a cost that is and what the queen is actually going to demand of her. So it sounds like she's gonna go on a lot of uh, obstacle courses to become this favorite bell and realize that it's not all it's cracked up to be. So I'm pretty excited. The story sounds amazing. Also coming out on February 6th is The Queen's Rising by Rebecca Ross. So in the story we are following Brianna who grew up in a kingdom where everybody is born with a natural talent for art, music, dramatics, wit, or knowledge. And on your 17th summer solstice um, you get to kind of present your passion and hope to be picked up by a patron. We are following Brianna and she approaches her 17th summer solstice. She is kind of struggling with finding her talent. She hasn't really latched on to one specific thing. Um, so she's struggling with that. And also when this comes around, she does not get patronage from anybody. So that's pretty crushing to her. Fast forward a couple months, a really disgraced Lord approaches her and offers her patronage and she takes it because she doesn't really have an option otherwise, and this kind of leads to a darker path for her life. This guy is pretty much going to use her to take over their rival kingdom and overthrow the king to restore the rightful queen on the throne. In my mind, that's telling me that she might be the rightful queen. I don't know. That's just kind of how most fantasies tend to go, though. I'm not really sure. I feel like she's gonna have some crazy power that is none of those natural talent type things. Maybe she'll be something crazy different. It just sounds really good to me. I'm really excited to see where this goes. So February 6th, that's coming up. I'm excited for this one. Moving into sci-fi, we have Heart of Gold coming out on February 27th, and this is by Ashley Poston. This is a debut author, and I am so excited for this. It sounds right up my alley. So basically we are following Anna who is found drifting in space with her friend D09 or D9 who is a sentient android. I'm sold already. So she gets picked up by like this grizzly spaceship crew who becomes her family and raise her. Fast forward to when she is, I'm assuming a teenager, we're in the young adult genre, she's gonna be a teenager. She realizes that D09 is starting to have malfunctions and glitches but he is also in illegal metals so he's not a legal droid, I'm guessing, or android. She finds the coordinates to a lost ship that might have the parts that can fix him on it, so she decides to take it upon herself to find this lost ship. And while she's on the mission to find this lost ship, a really spoiled iron blood boy, I don't know what that means, um, gets there first. And the two of them immediately become fugitives and go on a wild ride through space, basically. I'm assuming it's gonna turn into a romance, because again, it's YA, that's gonna happen. 
but I am just so sold on a girl and her droid as her best friend. I am just... Is it gonna be BB-8? I hope so. The next book I want to talk about is called Iron Ink and Glass, and this is by Gwendolyn Clare, and it comes out on February 20th, and this just sounds so cool. I love books that kind of follow this type of story. So in this story, there is a branch of science called scriptology. If you are a scriptologist, you can write a world into being. So we're gonna deal with like alternate reality type things or alternate worlds based on what these scriptologists write. That alone, I'm sold. That sounds great. So in this book, we are following Elsa, who lives in one of these written worlds. This world was written by one of the most notable scriptologists, her mother. So that right there is having my brain go on like a whole tangent. Like, is this girl born? Is she real? Or was she written into the story? How do people... Are you just created? Are you a real person? Are you a character? I don't know. I'm already so hooked on this story, it's not even funny. But basically, something attacks this world that she lives in, so she needs to escape to the real world. And she ends up in an alternate 19th century Italy, where she has to band together with a group of mechanics and alchemists and scriptologists to try and write whatever is happening and attacking these, like, false worlds that are written by... I am so excited for this story, guys. I know I'm not doing it justice. I'm just kind of like word vomiting things right now, but it looks so cool. And I love stories that are about stories. So I'm so excited for this one. Look at it. It's beautiful. Get excited for me. Okay, I'm gonna move on now. And the last book that I wanna talk about is called Tess on the Road by Rachel Hartman. And this comes out on February 27th. This is set in a very medieval kingdom. So we're talking high fantasy here, people. In this world, women are expected to be ladies and men are supposed to protect them. And we are following Tess, who is a teenager who just is not feeling that. She does not wanna be a lady. She wants to act out and be a rebel and do her own thing. So her family, thinks it's gonna be the best for her to send her to a nunnery to prove her wrong. So Tess says, no, that's not gonna happen. So she laces up her boots and just kind of takes off. So that sounds great. But on the road, she comes across a qui I don't know, it's a weird word. Uh, basically a subspecies of dragon who is a long lost friend of hers and is gonna be kind of her protector and guide on this road trip that she's taken by herself. And she kind of has to battle her own internal demons and past. And along with, I'm assuming, real demons and whatnot, dragons are in this world. And if it's gonna have dragons in it, I'm gonna read it. That's just it. So. February 27th is when this one's coming out, and I am so excited for it. I love the cover. I just love that she's gonna do her own thing and doesn't need a man to protect her or dragons to slay or anything. She's gonna make friends with her little dragon, and they're gonna go on a journey together. I'm feeling it. So those are the five books that I'm the most excited about. They are definitely all in this fantasy sci-fi realm which I am okay with. There are some contemporaries coming out, but I personally am not in contemporary mode right now. Also, I am loving the fact that fantasy is a trend that's been really popular for the past year to two years, and it's still going strong. And I like that there are still original stories coming out. These all sound so different to me, I'm just so into it. So I apologize if you're really into contemporary or maybe historical fiction or something, but these are the ones that I am so hype about. So let me know down in the comments if any of these are on your radar, if you're planning on reading any of these, if any of you have arcs of these, let me know what you think because I'm so curious about them. But that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys are intrigued and I hope you're reading some amazing books currently and I'll see you next time.